A tiny toad from Tanzania is extinct in the wild, but thriving in a lab in Syracuse, New York. The Kanzi spray toad, which ranges from just one to one and a half inches in length, is believed to have lived only under a 3,000-foot waterfall on the Kanzi River in southeastern Tanzania. Construction of a dam upriver reduced the flow of the waterfall and the resulting spray needed by the toads. But before the population of toads declined, about 500 were relocated. Researchers at the State University of New York College of Environmental Science and Forestry are hoping the survivors can be placed back in their natural habitat. The reason the Kanzi spray toad has gone extinct in the wild is because of human impacts. They are native to a four hectare wetland on the side of a waterfall in Tanzania. So they weren't discovered until they were starting to decline. The only reason they were discovered is because a hydroelectric dam was being built in the Kanzi Gorge upstream of where they're found. But they crashed suddenly and so a lot of people think that it could have either been um, the fact that the dam released a bunch of sediments that were contaminated with pesticides and one of those was endosulfan and that's what we're testing here. And um, another idea is the chytrid fungus which has been a problem for amphibian populations around the globe. They're really unique little frogs. They're one of the few that give live birth. They don't have a tadpole stage. The hope is to try to get these guys back in the wild really soon and, and there's a good chance they're really prolific breeders. They rely so heavily on the spray. They live in the spray zone, so they require 22 hours of misting a day. And so they need to be in um, a wetland habitat on the side of a waterfall. Another biologist working on the project says the toad might be the four-legged vertebrate species with the smallest range in the world, and they're hopeful they can survive in that range again.